What's up guys, it's your boy Ace Madden. For those of you who want an edge on your competition in Madden 17, check the description for details and obtain my lethal mini schemes. What's up guys, it's your boy Ace coming at you again with another Madden tip. And before I get into the video, make sure you check the description if you're interested in my mini schemes. I have a really good defensive scheme out of the nickel 335 wide. I average about 11 points a game. I probably run in about 75% of the game. So if that's better than what you're doing and you're struggling on defense, definitely give it a shot because I think it's a really well-balanced formation. So with that being said, let's get into the breakdown. Gun snugs and this out of the Jets playbook. And what we're going to be doing today is kind of finding a way to expose curl to flats. We want to be able to suck them down and expose the space behind them. And we have the perfect play for that, Jets slot post. This works against any kind of cover three. It doesn't matter. Cover three sky is, I want to show you this one because they're supposed to stay back. The zones are supposed to stay back and, you know, play the deep ball. Especially the deep blues. Those are a little bit harder to manipulate on cover three sky. So let's uh, go ahead and put Y on a drag, X on a flat, and then motion a to the left and block your running back. So what's going to happen immediately is A is going to get off the line and get into that space that we're talking about because X, the flat route, is going to suck down the curl to flat. I don't know if this is an actual football thing, like where this is his responsibility to take the flat route. I, I highly doubt it. I think it's just a AI problem in Madden. But as you can see, wide open on the speed corner route. I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but that's what I'll call it. Wide open. So this is going to be good at least once a game because he's not going to use her that. And, you know, um, the zones aren't going to do the, the job. I mean, what you can do really is, you know, he'll probably see a bunch formation if he's a really smart player or not even necessarily smart, but at least average or decent. He might throw in a curl to flat and a flat zone over there, and that can stop it. But, you know, more often than not, they're not going to do that. And then you can also have Y as a drag, and that's going to get open because B is going to clear out the zones on that side. So I'll show you that you can hit the, the drag as well for about a 10-yard gain because of B doing his job at clearing out space. And one more time, I'll show you the a route okay i fucked up i snapped it a little bit too early let me redo that and also what's good about this play is you can actually just use it to beat actually let me first show you that you can just beat it against any cover three this isn't just cover three sky I'm not going to do hard flat because obviously that's going to get sucked down by the flat route, but I'll do, um, see if I can find a cover three match. Cover three match. And I think it might defend it a little bit better, but it's still going to work. Wow, that was a terrible throw. The hook looks like he's going to play it a little bit better. But the curl to flat still gets sucked down. So it's a little bit more tight of a window you're going to get hit. You might want a possession catch or whatever. A lot of people aren't running cover three match nowadays. At least not in the division that I'm in. On Mutt. So um, maybe some of the lower divisions run it a little bit more often. Last time, and then I'll show you something else real quick. Okay, Bryce Petty sucks. Okay, so let me also show you that you can do the one play touchdown. You can just motion X out and make him a comeback. Put B on a streak. Do whatever you want with Y. Go ahead and block your running back. And if you get enough time in the pocket, get the one play touchdown. So you can also do that in addition to the um, 
motioning A over to the left, and then you can also motion X over to the left to make it a comeback if you want to get a big play touchdown. So I hope you guys enjoyed that play. Please drop a like if you did. And as always, if you enjoy Daily Madden Tips, please hit the sub button. Appreciate it, guys.